much as guys like to say that bitches be crazy, <laughs> but it's always guys that go on shooting rampages. Have we noticed this? You never hear a story in the news about nine people shot at a flea market. They're looking for a suspect, and the lead investigator says, huh, must have been someone's time of the month. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> you never hear that because we all know that guy crazy is way scarier than girl crazy. No one talks about that. When a guy goes crazy, he dresses up like Yosemite Sam and brings a rocket launcher to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Bunch of random people are about to die. But when a girl goes crazy, what's the worst thing that happens? What, they eat an extra pint of Ben and & Jerry's? And maybe cut off a dick or two? That's it. <laughs> and it's always someone they know. Cause girl crazy is focused. <laughs> you never hear about a serial dick lopper on the loose in Madison. <laughs> Whenever you hear a story about a guy getting his wiener chopped off, your first thought is always, I wonder what he did. <laughs> always. And let's be honest, guys. If we got our dicks cut off, we'd be sad for a little while. But I feel like after six months, I'd be like, I don't know what it is, but I'm getting so much more work done these days. <laughs> it's like I can concentrate for the first time since I was 12. Because the dick is the source of man's crazy. We all know that, right? We don't? All right. Uh, <laughs> science time with Matt Bamel, folks. Here's a quick biological explanation for why men are insane. It's because we're filled with sperm. Each individual sperm is a potential person, and there are millions of them in us. Our balls are an alternate universe factory. <laughs> filled with billions of potential people constantly screaming to get out. Because I don't know if you know this or not, but sperm dies inside of us within two months if it's not used. So it's a constant Shawshank Redemption going on in here. That's why we do what we do. We'll be walking around trying to be gentlemen. We see a pretty girl. There's a voice in the back of our head going, put me in her, Andy. <laughs> What are you doing up there, Morgan Freeman? <laughs> and we can fight it off for a little while, but the longer we do, the louder and angrier they get. What about that one, Andy? I don't mind the dim plague. I want to live, goddammit. <laughs> what about him? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'll take my chances. It's better than the sock again. These voices are always up there, 24-7, screaming, poking, prodding, trying to get out. And that's why when a man has an orgasm, we fall asleep right afterwards. <laughs> it's not because we're lazy, inconsiderate pieces of shit. It's because it's the only seven-minute window where they shut up and give us an opportunity to rest before it all starts over again. <laughs> and that's science. And if you guys prefer a socio-political analogy, think of it this way. A man's body, essentially, is just an electoral college. Every part of our body gets a certain number of votes in the decision-making, but they're not evenly distributed. Brain only gets like 35 votes. Heart, maybe 27. Whereas penis... Penis doesn't even have to vote. Penis is the Illuminati of a man's body. Just secretly controlling everything. And that's again why we do what we do. I'm sure most guys, you've done this at least once. You're at a bar, you're talking to a girl. Brain, he starts looking out for you. He's like, I don't know, Nat. We don't have a lot in common with her. Heart, he starts looking out for you. He's like, I don't know, Nat. I think you're just doing this to get back at Whitney. <laughs> but then in comes the general. 
And this thing is a warmonger, because it'll say things like, fire over the shots and drop the Yater bombs. Boys, we are invading this nation tonight. <laughs> and then you wake up next to her the next morning. It's like your own personal Iraq situation. You remember the Iraq situation? You rushed in too quick. You have no exit strategy. You blew all of your resources. <laughs> You're wondering how you can get out of this without destabilizing everything and going into a depression. Meanwhile, the bushy asshole that got you into this mess is just like, mission accomplished. Uh, I'll admit that joke ended pretty weird. I assume most of you weren't expecting my penis to be a Republican, but she is. And uh, I, I don't want this set to be too dick-centric, so I'll uh, say, ladies, your bodies are very similar. The only difference is that vaginas are like the Middle East. <laughs> what if I left right now and... <laughs> what? There's no sand in there, mister. <laughs> Vaginas are like the Middle East because it's an area considered holy to a lot of people. It's fought over all the time. And if we're being honest, you've seen a lot of bloodshed in that region. <laughs> oh, yeah. True, true, true. By the way, that's a positive joke for women because most guys say, my girl gets crazy that time of the month. No shit, Detective Batman. There's a war going on down there. <laughs> Guy crazy, still scarier than girl crazy. 